Now everything is on the schematic. Let's go ahead and connect it in this video. Uh, we're going to click on this button right here, which will create nets for us. And we're going to connect the pins. Now you can see you can do different angles on your nets. Uh, I'd like to stick to right angles for schematics as much as I can. So we're also going to make sure we connect these two pins. Even though the device itself it has these two pins shorted, we're also going to short them on our schematic. Now I'm just going to connect everything. Now all of this is connected. However, I don't like uh, I don't like it just coming right into the resistor that way. So I'm going to be picky, and just to show you how we can change some things. Uh, I could just go to selection fi filter, highlight all of my parts, it only selects my parts. Click move, move group, and I'm going to move it down. The only problem with this now is uh, it didn't do what I wanted, which was to move my nets. So we'll just go ahead and uh, delete the, the, yeah. So to delete, uh, click this trash can and we'll d delete these of course I need to reselect everything so it will allow me to delete them and I'm just going to move this whole group so if I select everything and right click anywhere and do move group it will allow me to move all of the components now this is what I mean I just wanted it to come over and then down a little bit just looks the main p purpose of the schematic is to connect everything together the right way but it's also informative you want to communicate to others how your system works and it needs to make sense now we are literally wiring up everything now one problem like I mentioned earlier is is this transistor uh, if you notice the point the arrow right there is pointing up and that is incorrect it needs to be pointing down because it won't work if we had it like that so instead of rotating it uh, this way what I'm going to do instead is mirror it so I'll get it positioned right and now if I click the mirror it will face the other way so uh, that's how you would do that and this is going to be the negative side of our battery you could do negative we could also call this ground uh, which is what I'll do Now to connect these, uh, I do want to use the angle, so I'll make an exception for this case, uh, just to keep it like the schematic that we pull off the internet. I do not want those points coming together because technically that is not a node, so what I'll do is just offset it a little bit here, and I can move that. So I'll move this over. Mm, let me just delete that and redo it come over and then there we go that way when you look at this you know there's not a node when they cross over uh, if you have two different nets when you do bring them together it will always give you that pop up and ask you if you want to connect them so the circle is a node that means it's connected so right here we could see this is not connected it jumps those wires jump over each other and now we'll save it um, just forgot about this one keep this horizontal and that is how you connect everything